Dawn Dines. Morning, Dawn. How are you today? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you, the lovely Ian Fox. How are you? I'm, I'm wonderful. Really sorry Gary couldn't be on, us, on with us today, but it is a bit early for him. And anyway, straight into it, you met James Cleverly. The very Hi. first thing I have to ask you is, did he apologise? Well, do you know what? I got back from Vietnam. I've been away on holiday. And my first meeting this year was meeting the Home Secretary. I was like, oh, my God, if this is the way the year is going to start, how exciting is this? And mm -hmm. the answer to your question, Ian, is yes. As soon as I met James Cleverly, he apologised profusely for what happened and do you know what? I had such a massive agenda to get through. I said, thank you. I understand it was a, you know, it was a silly joke. And at the end of the day, you know, it wasn't the, the best thing to do. But I I said, and then quite soon after into our meeting, I said to him, well, I've come with a bit of a wish list, to be honest, James. And he said, yes, Dawn, I wouldn't expect anything different from you. <laughs> so <laughs> I wanted to obviously start talking about, I've got such a serious agenda. I don't want to get muddled up in people, in politics and people saying this and people saying that. I'm very tunnel visioned and I've got a mission to do. And I want to safeguard, protect and educate on all spiking related issues. So I kept it to the agenda, to be honest with you. That's brilliant. That's a, 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 absolutely brilliant. But if I'm if I'm right, if it, you, they're not the the only MPs, you think, are you moving into Parliament? Because you, you've you've spoken to a lot of MPs this week and had loads of other meetings with government officials, haven't you? Yes, I have. I've met with a few different MPs this week, and the first one I met with was Jessica Phillips and. She is amazing. She's like, she just says it as it is. Do you know what I mean? And and for someone like me who hasn't got a clue about politics and doesn't understand, like I even went to one meeting. Well, let me just finish about Jessica first. So I went in and met her and she explained to me about what the procedure is going to happen now. And I think, you know, naively, all those years ago when I started this, I honestly thought, if I get the law changed, that's it. I've done it. No, this is when it's just starting. And now I've got to make sure that that law gets passed, that the wording is correct. And we get all the right people sat around the table because this has got to be a multi-agency approach. It can't be one industry trying to run away with it because it's just not going to work. Everybody has to work together. And what a nightmare that is, try, <laughs> trying to coordinate everyone to want to work together. Is that, that's not the easiest of tasks, but it's something that I am going to do for sure. Herding cats. Yes, I suppose it is something a bit like that, Ian. Yeah, it really is. Who else so, did well, you meet with? Uh, I met with oh, Luke Pollard um, to discuss about, he's from down my area for Plymouth, talking about the military because I've had so many testimonials from people in the military. Yeah. So this is another thing that we need to be discussing, of course. And I also met with Judith Cummins, who was lovely. And do you know what? I met up first of all with Satya Ray and, you know, she's another mover and a shaker. And when she came in, because we couldn't meet in London till later, and that was my last meeting. So yeah. She came in and rushed in like a ball of energy, you know, between us, it was like, ah, so, uh, <laughs> and then we spoke to Judith Cummins and she's just such a lovely lady. And do you know what? This just goes to show the difference in people. Like we like chalk and cheese because I started off and I said to Judith, do you know what? I don't even know which party you represent. And everybody <laughs> cracked up. They were like, Dawn, and like, because it's not about that for me. It's it's an MP that can actually do something to help with my mission to safeguard, to stop men and women getting raped and and the, the most horrible things. Like I talk about spiking and it doesn't sound quite so bad, but actually it's rape. That's yes. what's going on here. You know what I mean? So anyway, yeah, Satya Ray was there and she was laughing. She went, Dawn, don't you do your due diligence first? And I was like, well, yeah, but I know that Judith Cummins is 
fighting. You know, she's all about festivals, which is a massive grey area. And hopefully I'm going to catch up with like, uh, it's the Nighttime Industries Association do next week. Um, so hopefully I'll be seeing you up there, Ian, in Manchester. Yeah. And um, I'm looking forward to try and get in to have a chat with Sasha Lord about this because he will be the ideal person. And hopefully Andy Lenthal will be there from Festival Insights. And he now sits on our board, which is brilliant because this is really going to help us. But at festivals, this is another thing about spiking issues is that, you know, you don't really have much CCTV. You got youngsters like they, they got no backup. They, you're in a place in the middle of nowhere. It's like anyway, I'll stop moaning. No, hey, so it's not, no, you're not you're not moaning. It's really good. The other thing I, I sort of want to ask you. Obviously, you're really pleased with what's happened, and but I know that you've got some concerns going forward. So what is it? I mean, there's been I've seen since uh, just to put it. In context, since this was announced, there's been a whole host of online training providers. What you know, offering certificates. What what's this all about, Dawn? Have you got any views? Yeah, I do. I do. And um, you know, I've seen quite a few posts, and quite a few people have obviously tagged me into posts. And Gary Twining Wright being one of them. Sorry, he's not on today because I wanted to thank him basically, because he highlighted to me and he actually went on one of these courses, you know, and I gave him a quick ring the other day and I was like, Gary, what what was it like? I said, look, I've only got a couple of minutes. I was in between meetings and he went, Dawn, it was like a bloody Mickey Mouse course. You know what I mean? And like, and I've looked at other courses as well. And at the end of the day, I've set up a charity, Stamp Out Spiking. The reason why I've set it up is because I want to leave a legacy behind me. When I'm no longer around, I don't want in 15, 10, 15, 20 years time, when I'm not the face of this and running this, to hear these same stories that freshers are getting raped, that you know people in festivals, men, women, too scared to admit it. I don't want those stories anymore. So my legacy is here and now. And I just want to assure everybody that we are going to be laying down the gold standard on spiking training. And, you know, I'm talking to James Cleverly about that. I've been having meetings with the SIA about that. So in the next few weeks, Ian, we're going to be doing lots of different announcements. But at the end of the day, this is all about safeguarding men and women in communities. It's not about people jumping on the bandwagon, trying to make a quick buck. This is about a sustainable charity that needs to be put in place to make sure that we're going to safeguard our future generations. And that's what I'm here to do. It's people's lives, isn't it? It is. You know, the other yeah. thing, the other last sort of thing, I suppose I want to ask you about this then, because I'm I'm conscious of the time, is um, assessment and what that's going to. Because as you know, my big thing at the moment is competence. Competence over compliance. Yeah. Do you know what, Ian Fox? I love that. That's going to be my slogan, by the way, if you don't mind. I'm going to campaign on that. What a brilliant statement! As soon as you said it the other day, I was like. Boom. That is exactly what we want to be doing. It is competence over compliance. And all I'm seeing is people who are not experts in this field doing Mickey Mouse courses, trying to make some money off it. And that really makes my blood boil, as you can imagine. Like, you know, I'm 20 years in here trying to put a sustainable, you know, a, a strategic plan in place not for it to be a quick fly by night. These organizations in a year or two's time, they'll be on to the next thing. Do you know what I mean? Spiking won't be on their agenda anymore, but this will always be on my agenda. And this is why we feel we are best placed to look after people, to get an assessment put in place, to make sure that people know the signs, the symptoms, an immediate call to action. And we're gonna be working on those frameworks. Are you going to be in? Are you willing to involve other people? Are you calling other members? Uh, you know, at the end yeah, definitely, end? definitely. And if anybody out there who's watching this today, if you're like a, a, an awarding organization or if you're a you know a training provider, please get in contact with us because I have got, as you can imagine, speaking to hundreds and thousands of men and women 
who've been affected by these crimes, what I've done is I've weaved as much of that information into my training sessions so that we understand how it's happening. We know. And then I can give brilliant insight to people working in the nighttime industry. And that, my friend, will help so many people to stay safe. We can protect. We can safeguard. And, you know, the perpetrators out there, look out because we're 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 going to be shutting you down. Coming for you. Yeah, shutting them down, Ian Fox. That's what we're going to be doing. It all sounds absolutely fantastic, Dawn. I, I appreciate I think you've got a, another interview to do. I do. And uh, what can I say other than I'm incredibly grateful that you've given us some time. Oh, thank morning. you. Thanks, Ian Fox. And I look forward to seeing you next week. And also, you know, thanks for letting me have this platform on your podcast. Sorry we missed Gary today, but I'm sure next time it'll be on. And, um, yeah, my, my last sort of things that I would like to say to you is, like, I'm going to have loads more news. Can I come back on again sometime? Of course you can. Having, nice. a, a, having a superstar, you know, and you, <laughs> you, know, you will be dang dawn. And if not, you know, I'm going to have to go and have a chat with King Charles and ask him what, why not? Because <laughs> you definitely deserve a chat, deserve oh. it. But seriously, Dawn, have you got any final bit, I suppose, is final bit is what about where does a trainer go? Have we got any links? Have we got any connections that you can send over? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll send you some over, Ian. Yeah. So I can send you some over, but also they can just look at stamp out spiking and just send me an email. Like we've got loads of meetings coming up and that's all those announcements that we're going to be making. So I'll send you over some links. So thanks ever so much. Okay, well, have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you soon. Speak to you soon. Cheers, Ian. Cheers. Bye. Bye.